Hello, everybody. Welcome back. <sighs> we are playing some more Cradle. Hey, come here. Dang saddle. Uh, so today, I want to let you guys know a couple things before we move on. I, first of all, I've been thinking about this game so much. How big is the world? What's in that giant dome? It's just... It's just got me curious. Uh, also, I know that you guys sort of missed a lot of the, uh, whoops, a lot of the, like, flavor text that might not be flavor text, it might be a little important that I kind of read through. That's a long one, let's not read that. Um, on my own, off camera. So I'll do my best to sort of fill in the gaps if I come across something. Oh, a tablet device is requesting a password. Oh, did I hit tab by mistake? So it's telling me, that's, that's a hint. Oh! Hold on. How do I tab to go away? I want those to not come show up anymore. I'm seeing here, when I load it up again, a lot of the stuff in the house is reset. For example, the sugar. I cannot believe we lucked out <laughs> and just picked the one that happened to be right. Meanwhile, we threw the rest of them out of the world. We got down to two. It was a 50-50 chance. Uh, well, it wasn't a 50-50 chance, it was a 2 in 5 chance that we actually had the right one available. Okay, so, hold on. It said something about a tablet. Uh, yes. I guess I don't need to put it in. Shoot, hold on. Let me just, can you not for a second? I didn't look at it yet. Okay. Okay. So, the other thing I want to mention is I'm going down to 720p. 2053 just because uh, 2053 uh, it runs a little smoother for me and for you so that should be good hopefully you can still read the text shouldn't be a problem I've got a journal now my name is Enabish I've always lived here because I can't go Anywhere else. Grandpa Botjin says lots of people used to live around here. But they all died when the dome blew up. Ooh, okay. The area has been deserted ever since, aside from myself, Batjin, and Ognots. On Ongots, who is the eagle. Ongots has got very powerful claws. He, he obeyed my father and helped him hunt hares. I don't remember my parents. They all died in the explosion as well. When the wind picks up, it gets pretty chilly. You can find refuge from it, but not for long. You can't last long without light. That's why I crafted this transparent layered vest. Oh, that's outside. Like in that program about greenhouses, it keeps Ognots warm during the day. And when the night's chill arrives, I put him into another warm vest. I collect and digitize flowers. I look for the prettiest ones and make phyto phyto copies of them. Tabaha then takes them into Tabaha. It's probably Tabaha. I don't know what the, where the emphasis goes. Tabaha then takes them into town and sells them. The earnings keep him afloat while Grandpa and I buy cheese. We've got a new genometer. It measures everything. Flowers, insects, people. It clocks Bajan at 47 and the tree by the gate at 42. And the stool got even the stool got measured, though that took a, lo a little longer. When we aimed at Ognots or myself, it still shows the same old error. <sighs> Grandpa said it's on Providence. Whoa, okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm getting something here. If you guys remember, it talked about having an HQ value that needed to be like the company's name was like HQ 30 and up. And it was something about, like, a, a, beauty, a beauty center or something. And there's all these numbers around it and everything. I feel like that's measuring their beauty, and that's why he's collecting the beautiful flowers, so he can figure out, like, why they're beautiful and why it's giving him an error. My suspicion is we're secretly a robot. I have this dream sometimes. I'm in a strange city. The day is waning. Folks are walking in the distance. There's somebody beside me, but I don't see who. The dream is fleeting. 
Although I'm not sure we're a robot because we totally smell things and we we like talk a lot like a robot sometimes. We talk like a robot sometimes. We also talk like a human sometimes. There's somebody beside me, but I don't see who. The dream is fleeting, always leaving me with strange sensation, like I'm supposed to pass something to somebody, but I can never remember what or to whom. I feel some kind of mix of anxiety and chagrin. 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 And it makes me want to go there to that town. Grandpa Botjan has died. Aw. He wanted... To, we found his grave uh, the other day. He wanted to do a transfer after losing his sight and mobility. Into a robot, is my assumption. Tab Tabaha even thought him... the Brought him the... Brought him the equipment, but Grandpa died in his sleep. He was buried at the spot he had requested. Tomorrow marks the four-year anniversary of Grandpa's funeral, which means I'm already 23. Everything is still the same. I tried leaving again, but no dice. I simply lose consciousness like before. That must be the toxin. I want to find out what that... I want to find that town for my dream. Perhaps I'll risk it and do a transfer. Grandpa's got no use for the, his helmet these days. But I might. If I get lucky, I'll wake up in a new body in Ulaanbaatar. Bator. Too bad the genometer won't show my number. I know how dangerous it is. I think that's the thing you stick your finger in. When I look up at the poster over my bed, for some reason I remember my toys. When I was a kid, maybe five or so, I had a favorite toy, an odd little space case. Ingots had found it somewhere and brought it to me. Then I saw dark swirls in the field, got scared, and stashed the toys away for some reason. And to make sure it didn't forget the hiding place, I came up with a clue. Come out of the yurt and fly straight as the crow. On a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. A, so a sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand will a mystery betray. But now I can't find it. Well... I accept your challenge to find it, and I have a pen right here. Out. Yurt. I'm not writing this whole thing. I'm not. Uh, out, right. Straight as crow. Rock. With snag. And my pen ran out. Good thing I have two more. What are the chances these are going to run out? Snag. Look for arrow. Find arrow. Uh, a sour, sad tree. Sad tree. Box in the sand. Uh, oh, this one might run out. <laughs> Box in the sand. It's okay. Just had to shake it. <sighs> I will find this for you. Okay, obviously that is the next thing to do. Um, although while we're out there, I want to keep I want to keep a lookout. This is totally a flower thingy. It said something about that. No, don't close that. Yes, no flower in the phyto phytocopier. So we should totally find beautiful flowers and put it in there. And see. Okay. Okay, fly straight as a crow. Rock with a snag. So I'm assuming... I don't know if the crow has anything to do with it, but I'm assuming we go straight. And there's totally birds, but I don't think those are a clue. So rock with a snag. Rock with a snag. I don't really know what a snag would mean. I'm wondering if it means there's like a ribbon caught on it. Like the ribbon up at the grave, sort of. So going this way. Checking out the rocks. I don't want to go too far, because I feel like I'm going to get lost. Since there's like no landmarks. How far away does that stuff render? It's still rendering, okay. Here's a rock that was fairly straight out. With a snag. No. I guess let's keep going. Ooh, I'm a little worried about that. It's so beautiful, though. It's pretty minimalistic, but that almost makes it more look like more realistic. Like, I was really impressed with the terrain of Ark. Ark Survival Evolved, because, uh... Rock with a snag. I'm 
I'm gonna let's see where's this thing. Our yurt was right there. Was the crow part a tip? I feel like it may have been. Let's keep going this way just a little bit more. Um, I think if you go too far, we're gonna pass out and wake up back at the house, just like you said. Probably, hopefully. Um. What was I saying? Oh yeah, I was impressed with how much they could fit into the train. All the different kinds of um, plants and ground clutter. But it did sort of look... Uh, it doesn't... It's a little over the top. Like, you could tell that it was a sci-fi game. But this... This feels like it could be... A destitute rural area that has been left untouched due to the fact that nature has died <laughs> and a toxin is in the air okay this is as far as I'm really willing to go to be honest let's check out these rocks what does that mean rock with a snag Too bad there's not like a log so I could look at the actual actual text. I feel like I might be missing something. It could be we also have been seeing like rebar everywhere. What was that sound? It sounded like fire. Okay. Go on the yurt and go straight as a crow. I feel like like there were birds around maybe that's a hint I feel like if you were leaving a note to yourself to remember where something was you probably shouldn't use animals that move around and migrate and whatnot as your as your landmark but then again this is a video game I would feel really stupid if I followed like a bird around for like a half hour trying to find. Oh. Whoa, I went underwater there for a second. Alright, maybe if we walk straight back to the yurt from here, we may have wandered off the straight path for a while. Or maybe it's not even that far off. Like maybe maybe the rock was right outside the yurt. Maybe even with inside the fence, actually. I would feel really dumb about that too. Check out these rocks. Did we look at these? I feel like these are the same rocks we already looked at. Rock with a snack. I mean in the end we're looking for an arrow and then a sad tree. Which I feel like would probably be pretty um, lifeless. The thing is we don't, I, I would just say let's just skip and look for sad trees. But we don't know how far it could be and we don't know which direction the arrow is going to point us in. So it does look like le the trees are rendering it in pretty high detail pretty far away though. So we could maybe use that if there's any trees that sort of stand out. But okay hold on we're back here. So you come out, and there's a rock with a snag. Come out straight as the crow. Let's, let's read that again. Make sure I didn't miss any details. While, while we're here. Oh shoot, no, no reading of entries. Not yet, I have to get the password. 2053, whoops. Oh, let's keep that on inventory. Uh, yes. Oh, okay. Uh, continue, continue. Continue, continue, continue. Okay. <clears throat> Come out of the yurt and fly straight as the crow. I assume that means walk straight. That's as what I'm going to take that. Because there's the expression as a crow flies, right? On a rock with a snag, look for an arrow. <gasps> Wait. A sorrowful tree will show you the way. A box in the sand. And this, and this is happening after the death. Could I be? Th could it be this simple? I'd, it's kind of ignoring the part about walking straight. 
but was there an arrow on the grave? No. I don't know why I thought that. Okay, let's... Mm. There's that special shirt that we mentioned. It's supposed to keep us warm. I'm probably going to have to remember that at some point and come grab it. So, walk out straight as the crow. Okay, rock with the snag, looking at all the rocks. Looking at all the rocks. And we gotta look for an arrow. Oh, there's an arrow, okay. Rock with the snag. I th oh, oh, this is snagged on it, isn't it? Okay, so it's a tree, okay, okay. Sorrel, so sorrowful, okay. S yeah, a sad tree, a sor sorrowful tree. And it's and then it's buried in sand, so I feel like we can probably skip the sad tree part. All these trees look pretty sad. And find just find some sand. Do you think it's in this patch? I don't wanna overlook it. Um sorrowful tree. This way? I'm just kind of looking for more sandy patches. It's a box. Ooh! That's a sorrowful tree. Okay, but I assume this is it. Candy? Or something? Uh, oh, I can't take that. Oh, it's the toys! Right, okay. Found this. This is probably a robot piece. Let's take that little case. Same one as on the poster. Okay. Mini calendar for 2058. Sky rings. The construction has begun. What was that? Chewing gum insert. Mongolian comic book hero slays a dragon. Wow. Glass balls. Cold and heavy. This doesn't. This is just a monkey. I'm gonna take this back with us. I'm lost. I think this way. Yeah, towards the dome. When in doubt, go towards the dome. The heck was that? <gasps> a thingy? Oh, that's not power lines. That's a rail. Oh, cool. Okay, we're not alone. Very interesting. Taking a little monkey back with us. You will go right. Um, you can go right here. There. So, did we see? I feel like that goes in there. Right? Doesn't that look like this? Can I take that? Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, let's put you right... Oh, oh, shoot. Which was which? I guess this would be the newer one. And let's put the face back on. Hey, now! Hold on. Hit the button. No. Something's wrong. I better turn her off. Some components might be missing. In there. I mean, I mean, look, there, there's to totes. That's a thing, I think. That's a thing I can take out. I think. Did I, are these things still in the box, or they're back on the board now? Okay. I feel like we did that. Um, I don't really know what's next, but I'm going to guess it might have to do with flowers. So uh, I think that's what we're going to investigate in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you then. Bye-bye. <laughs>